hello everyone in this video i am going to talk about how you can use the live reload feature with the neutralino j cli so in this computer i already installed neutralino j cli if you need to install uh, you can uh, just uh, use npm install you need to install it globally and the package name neutralino j slash new this is how you can install uh, the neutral node CLI. Now I already installed uh, uh, the CLI, so I can use a new uh, in all the places of uh, this computer to demonstrate uh, the live reload uh, feature. I will create a small project here. The project uh, is called uh, Hello World. I am using new create Hello World. The application name. It will uh, create uh, the application here inside the new uh, inside new the new folder called uh, hello world. So how about executing uh, this application? We just need to enter a new run command here. First, I need to enter to that directory using cd. So here I can uh, just uh, enter new run to execute uh, the application I just created right now so this is uh, the application I just created uh, right now so how about uh, doing some change uh, here to that uh, uh, the index html file the, which is the main uh, template file html template of your application so if i use uh, the browser mode instead of uh, the window mode i can simply uh, click on that uh, the, the re reload button of the browser to reload the application but i just need to do it manually right uh, even if i use uh, the window mode uh, there is no easy way to uh, reload the application uh, by clicking something because uh, in the native window you don't have any kind of reload uh, uh, feature so there is a new uh, feature called new listen new command so you can use it to uh, reload uh, the application automatically while you are developing while you are changing uh, the html file or changing your source code the javascript source code or typescript or whatever the uh, front-end framework you use so let's uh, try to use it instead of new run now I'm going to enter new listen without entering new run here the same thing will happen it will open the application automatically just like uh, new run uh, did earlier so I'm, I'm going to do some change into index html I will add uh, some kind of text here now if I save this one let's check this one now it is reloaded now it is reloaded uh, automatically right so how about doing some kind of change into your application source here I am uh, using the JS template there are several uh, JS files are there let's say I am doing some cha uh, change into one of uh, JS file here there is uh, alert uh, method is used now I am going to remove this one now I saved this one now I need to uh, build uh, the files for that uh, as you already know we can use the uh, new build command I'm going to enter new build but make sure that uh, new listen is already running when you enter new build now the application is reloaded uh, but uh, there's no alert uh, 
uh, to make sure that is working let's say I'm going to add another alert another test alert just to make sure it is working for your source files as well now I uh, saved it now I'm going to build it again now you can see the change I did I just entered uh, some kind of text uh, alert message here this is how you can use the new listen to uh, boost uh, your coding speed uh, the way you're working it speed when you are working with uh, neutrino js uh, applications so in next video I'm going to uh, talk about uh, newly added uh, global variables nl uh, args is uh, one of uh, newly added and uh, very useful uh, global variable that will uh, consist of all the application argument of your application and there are some uh, new things as well uh, see you in next next video